I wonder if you've ever thought about uh, the things that you hear from God. I wonder if you've ever considered that the decisions you have made and the direction you've taken and the things that you want most out of life actually shape the very things that you hear God saying to you. So you tend to hear things that confirm what you want. So, for example, if you want lots of money, then any word you will ever hear or any verse you ever read or any leading of the spirit that you might have um, will actually confirm that. You'll think, yes, God wants to give me this or yes, God is going to bring me that. You may then end up being tone deaf to some of the other leadings that may come. So, for example, God may say to you, give up your riches, live a sacrificial life, give away your riches to the poor. Why don't you forgive that person who has wronged you? I've found it very strange over the length of my life, I've been a Christian 32 years, just how often the, the decisions I make, my desires, my emotional thoughts, if you like, the things I have given my life to, the, 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 if you like, the ground I've conceded to those desires actually allow me to hear certain things from God or actually more usually make me tone deaf to certain things that God is saying to me. If we look at Genesis chapter 3 and verses 1 to 5, we, we again see the way the serpent comes to people. He just puts a doubt in there or he puts a leading in a different direction and says, surely God didn't say this. Surely he wants you to have that. You get the idea. I, I like to think of our life as as open to God in some ways, but in so many other ways, we're actually closed off to him. And I guess one of the things we can ask God this morning or this evening or whenever you're listening to this is to actually open your eyes and open your heart to your blind spots, to the, 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 the spaces within your life where you're deaf to the voice of God because of decisions you have made, because of the way you've been brought up, because of the society you live in, or simply because you desire something more than God. I wonder as we do that, as we ask his spirit to move in our life, so that we hear his voice rather than the voice of the serpent, rather than the voice of the enemy, then we will be surprised exactly what possibilities and what directions God will open up in our life. It isn't just about distraction, it's about actually the preconceived choices we have made that we then bring to God and expect him to bless. So we pray this morning that God would free us from them.